Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 13 of Let's Play Crystallis, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, remember, I'm back to the Cave of Sticks with the uh, flight spell, and you're gonna find out why I came back here. Apparently, I cannot fly over those, so let me get the barrier spell back on. I actually thought I could. Alright, it's been a while since we were here, only this time we're gonna go right. And yes, I did do a massive amount of grinding, because for one of the bosses, you have to be max level anyway. So, let's just deal with this schmuck over here. And you're gonna find out why I'm back here in a moment. There. Okay, I took way too many hits there, but that's okay. Oh, that's my barrier spell again. Okay, there's a chest over there that I cannot normally reach until now. Oh, apparently that was a mimic. Well, damn, I'm an idiot. Let's get rid of this, uh, poison. And deal with the scum. Like, there is a chest over here, and it's, apparently that's just money. Okay, fair enough. Maybe there's another chest I can find. Like this? Ah, the Psycho Shield! This is actually the best shield in the entire game. In fact, it prevents you from being poisoned, paralyzed, or petrified. So this is very good to have. Alright, I think we shall get out of here now. Yeah, and I did a little bit of grinding, like, further ahead in the game, so let's return to Goa. Oh, the flight spell is gonna make the next parts of the game that much better. When it comes to walking around rivers and stuff, now you don't have to. You can just go right over them. Also, I'm gonna use my chain spell to become Akahana. So I believe I can get this item now. Yo, Akahana! You look good! I'll return that item you loaned me. Heh, <laughs> joke's on you, I'm actually dead. Oh, wait, Akahana is not one of the wise men, is he? That eh, doesn't matter. Actually, he is one of the wise men. But, anyways, you don't need to know that. The warrior ring will actually allow you to use your charge attack, your level 1 charge attack, even without, you know, charging it. So that could be very nice, but I do prefer the power ring. Anything for that extra gumption. Alright, I'll keep my flight spell active. Is there a pawn shop nearby? Because I would like to get rid of some of these, uh, psych- I mean, sacred shields. I don't use them anymore. Well, they're not necessary, considering I got the Psycho Shield, which is the best shield in the entire game, and does what the Sacred Shield does anyway, and more. Very close to max level, which is going to be very good for us. So let's head back to that desert cave that I was in before. There. Just like Mario, only I don't drop. Alright, now there is one item that I can now get, but I couldn't before until I got the flight spell. Basically, we just gotta go around here. I think I'm going in the right direction. No, I'm not. I need to go up a little ways. But I need to get, like, upper central, so to speak. You're gonna see what I mean when we get there. Like, maybe around this area. Like, there should be a chest. I got the battle armor, even though I was up in the air. Battle armor is okay. It actually has a little bit less defense than the ceramic suit. Does it? Hang on. 3947. 3547. So it actually is worse, but it does have some uh, advantages to it. And I believe it has something to do with preventing poison but I have the ability to do that anyway. I'm just gonna teleport so I don't have to deal with these scum. Okay, now let's go back. I say like a few more enemies and I'll be at max. That's gonna be great. Well, level-wise at the very least. Because I'm capable of wrecking these enemies with absolute no problem whatsoever. Alright, so let's get the flight back going again. Wait a minute, there is one more thing I forgot to do. 
I'm gonna have to go back to Mount Hydra. You know that area with the chest that was on that long ledge? I gotta go there. So why don't you give me several minutes, I'll meet you at that spot. Okay, and there we have it. I made it to level 16 on the way here. So this is how my stats look. 40 attack power, well of course that's thanks to the power ring. And my defense at 40 and 48. How about that? Alright, just making sure I go over my equipment and that's not the right spell I want. Instead, I want the ability to fly. So I can get the bow of sun. Alright, since I got two bows, they're gonna come in handy later. Alright, so let's return to Goa, and I'm gonna go rest. Because that's how we roll. I know I can just warp to Sahara, but you might as well see how I can actually get there. You know, otherwise you'd be thinking, Well, how do I get to Sahara? You never showed us how. Well, I gotta do that, now do I? Alright, let's make sure I get flight on the go. I guess I could just use the leather boots, but I'm gonna need to, the power of flight anyway, just to get to the next area. Because there's gonna be these whirlpools in the way. And you gotta be able to fly over them, like so. Okay, this is where I've been doing my bulk of grinding. These scorpions? I believe they give you, like, over a thousand experience. Like, 1,440? I could be wrong. But either way, just by killing them, I was very close to gaining the level. Yes, this is a let's play. I know. A long time ago, I was one of Stom's favorites. I wish he would come back soon. Oh, he's back alright. Wink, wink. Oh, Stom! Let's play! I'm sorry, I'm not Stom. He is gone. That's a lie! He couldn't be dead. Please take this. It reminds me of him. Avenge his death for me. Well, he got to acceptance pretty quickly. So this is Deo's pendant. What it does is it allows you to replenish your MP automatically, provided you wait. And it doesn't seem to have, like, a very long charge time, but it can take a bit of a while, so you might want to make sure you're well away from enemies. But that likely won't be a problem for us. Of course, this is how you get to Sahara. This is the desert town of Sahara. The weather is pretty nasty, but it keeps Dragonia away. Yeah, but for how long? I mean, it's not gonna be nasty forever. I heard a rumor that Dragonia is about to be destroyed. It's not really much of a rumor, it's just false hope. Do you know someone called Stom? I assume he's in training right now. Yeah, in heaven. <laughs> Alright, so what can I buy here? I think I'm gonna buy some fruit of Rippon. Oh, I can't. Because I have too many items. Well, let's just drop the medical herb, because I won't be needing it. Magic ring could also be pretty good. But I got a lot of those anyway. So I'll buy another fruit of Rippon. That'll be good. Oh, let's just talk to some of the people. Oh, you are the legendary soldier. I shall tell you what I know. Please tell me you don't have any lessons about shaving, because look at your face. A tower with tremendous power is near. One that can destroy the world. It is said, one true warrior has the power to stop the tower. That one is Nufi. And the one who will lead you is called Messia. That I know. You're just reading off the game script. It's sad. The Emperor Dragon still hasn't given up his desire to conquer the world. Well, that's what empires do. They keep going until they just do it. A strange couple came here a while back. One was a man with a cape. The other was a girl. I don't really think they're all together, just for the sake of it. I'm guessing that one in the cape is the Emperor. Alright, that just gives us a little bit of extra money. Not that I need it. When you go through a cave in the east, a great pyramid is there. Pyramid? Well, that's where I'm gonna be heading. So let's go. Yeah, I had no problem gaining my levels here. Or gaining my experience here. Also, I realize if you come into contact with enemies that can poison you, the Psycho Shield does not prevent it. I think it's projectiles that can poison you that you're immune from. 
If I wanted to be immune by contact, I would just use the battle armor. But, oh well. Okay, there's the pyramid. Oh, it's got its own music. I like that. Okay, and it's got some of those invisible enemies again. Now, this place can be quite confusing. So, allow, allow me to level with you on this one. Most of the pads will actually take you to the exact same way on the other side. Also, I guess I can't use that weapon. I can't use fire either. What about water? Okay, water works against these mummies. Oh yeah, their shots can't even do anything to me. Also, why am I bothering to kill enemies if I have, like, all this experience anyway that I'm at max level? Like, sometimes you can just appear from the other side. So let me go around this way. See where this takes me. Like, if you're lucky, you might find a chest. I probably have too many items, so I can't pick that up. Eh, it's probably just a consumable, so it's no big deal. Okay, I still gotta find a very specific room that's not gonna take me to where I was. I think that's it here. Yep, this is different. Alright, let's do this. Ah, there's the one with the cape. Oh! You are here to come here? Oh, you are able to come here? I'm Emperor Dragon. Show me your power. Oh, okay. That's a bit of a cheap shot. Okay, I need to heal badly. Alright, let me get my opal statue ready. Because I'm likely going to be needing it. Okay, the lightning attack is easy to dodge. It's just when he starts, like, psycho-dashing into you for no reason like that, see? I can't go any faster. So I just gotta hope I don't get hit. Like that, see? It's a good thing I have magic rings, and now he's dead. Psycho armor. Oh, this is the best armor in the game. Oh, hi, do I know you? Ooh, Noofy. I'm glad you could come. You're wounded! Worry not for me, but for Messia. She waits for you on the highest floor. You must use the basement entrance to get there. Here is the Bow of Truth. Use it when you battle the Emperor. Go. Messia is waiting. Oh, so that was a fake? Okay. I guess I'll be leaving now. But first, let me use one of my magic rings. Actually, let me recover my uh, health first. If I can get it to full. Oh, I should have equipped the Psycho Armor, because I believe it gradually replenishes your HP over time. So if that was the case, why did I bother to heal? Oh, the back entrance is somewhere to the north of here, I assume. Up oh, there it is. Ow. Okay, we made it. Okay, so this is the next part of the pyramid. Like, this is probably going to be the last part, too. First part was, like, very short, but it did have its own puzzle. You who awaken us, you will sleep an endless sleep. Oh, here we go. Okay, this is where you need, you need your bows. Okay. Statue of Moon is destroyed. Nice. Okay, do I actually have to, uh, aim at them? Nope, I just had to be in the same room. So those... The bow that I got from Amazonus, and the one I just got a few minutes ago, is gonna allow us to continue. Alright, so... What are we gonna do here? Oh, you're immune to that. And that! Okay, what are you weak against? Wind? Yes. Oh, I got turned into a monster. How long is this effect, anyway? Is it permanent? I would imagine it's permanent. So 
So, note to self, don't get hit by that attack again. Yep, Psycho Armor does replenish your HP. So I guess if I'm very close to a boss, I'll just wait around for it to fully replenish, and I'm good to go. Okay, that was a dead end, so I don't want to go here. There's no reason for me to fight enemies except, you know, just to clear a path. I can't get any more levels. I'm at max. And unfortunately, you do have to be at max in order to defeat the next boss. So that's one thing I don't like, that they, you actually have to be max level to progress. But, I guess it's gotta be done. Alright, let me give myself a little bit more health before I continue. Yeah, I think that was good enough. Oh, there's spikes. Let me get my leather boots on. Oh, get away from me. I have no interest in you. Yeah, I'll just continue. That works for me. Ow! I don't like that. Uh, am I even going the right way? I should be. I'm just gonna keep going until I find a dead end or something. And I wouldn't put it past this game to put some multiple dead ends there. Uh-oh. Oh! These... Platforms crumble! Oh, I made it. I think this is the last part here. Like, this room looks very ornate. Alright, I'm just gonna wait till I get to full. Actually, let me put on a Deo's amulet. Or pendant. Then I can fully replenish my MP as well. So, just give me a few minutes and I'll meet you when I'm back to full. Okay, we should be good to go. Now, I believe I'll need the Sword of Thunder and the Storm Bracelet for this one. Also, I might want to, like, change my equipments, because you do need the Power Ring as well. So here's the true Emperor. You, Nufi. You shall receive the wrath of my fury for taking my kingdom from me. Oh, I also need to use the, uh, Bow of Truth. The arrow pierces the heart of the Emperor, and his true image is revealed. Well, that ended quickly. Okay! That guy is hideous. Okay, unfortunately you do require this attack. Yeah, so I think it's only the Thunderbolts that can damage him. Okay, these popcorn chicken are like boomerangs. Okay, looks like I'm doing some damage to him. Oh, lasers. I guess I'm safe if I'm a distance from him. Okay, so he's got a nice bit of attacks. Oops, didn't fully charge it. Okay, does... Uh, hang on a second. Okay, that was a bit of a false alarm, and I just realized I'm really low on MP, so I better get some more. Also, another thing I realized, that apparently this guy has a gem on his chest, and I was just spamming the lightning attack, only to realize that that chest is closed. So I gotta wait for it to open, then I can use it. And those lasers can do a lot of damage. And there we go! Finally managed to defeat him. Alright. So, think how far we've gotten. Good job. This is the way it was supposed to be. I must explain. I didn't want evil in my mind, and I tried to push all corrupting thoughts away. But Dragon began to read my negative ideas and became absorbed by them. The fact that you and Messia are awake means the tower cycle has begun. There's so little time! Hold on! Try! Kenzu, I'm sorry. I feel Dragon's evil it was my fault. He saw the temptation of using his power for self-glory and evil, but I could do nothing. Now we must be apart. I'm... sorry. Astaka! Astaka! Nufi! I'm now in the tower! Not much time. Enter into the next room. I'll take you to the tower. 
Okay. Well, guess I'll have to enter on my own. I'll go through the Final Fantasy Crystal, thank you very much. And I cannot leave. So, this is basically the point of no return. Alright, fair enough! So, in order to get through the tower... Well, I should disable that in case I'm using my charge attacks by mistake. You have to destroy all the robots that you're gonna see. Once you defeat them all, you should be able to get to the next floor. Luckily, they don't seem all that hard. Oh, jeez. Unless they corner you. Especially don't trust that guy. And they don't even give you money. Well, I guess what's the point of money if you're stuck here? There's no shops. Oh, I don't like the looks of that wall turret. Besides, it's immune to thunder attacks. Uh Gotta find a safe spot so I can hit them both. Okay, I don't think the uh, helicopter guys are a factor in all this. Considering they just keep respawning anyway. No! Get away! Nobody likes you. Alright, let's try water. Does it work against... Work. Water does work on these guys. Oh, these are the guys you gotta deal with. Oh, they're endlessly spawning. I don't like this. Guess as long as I just keep moving, I should be fine. That goes without saying, of course. Oh, man, they, they really are relentless on you. Okay, one's dead. I don't want to go through that door, because that's where I came from. Okay, don't corner me now. Oh, this ain't, this ain't good. And remember, I can't get any stronger than this. I practically peaked. Best thing I can do is, once I kill the enemies, find a spot where I can be safe, and then just use my uh, Psycho Armor and a Deo's Pendant in conjecture with each other, or in conjunction with each other, and then take it from there. Can I even destroy this wall turret? I don't even know if I hit it. Because when I get hit, the sound effect overlaps. God, you're so annoying. No, it doesn't work, so let's try wind. That doesn't work either! Wow! Every attack is useless against this. I'll just stick to thunder, I suppose. Because it covers the most range. It keeps pushing him back so they can get hit again. I'll have to ignore the wall turret because nothing works against it. Uh oh. Man, this is going to be rough. Because I don't have to do that on just this floor. I got to do it on future floors too. I'm eventually there. I want to keep the fight away from this room, though. Because I know that I'm dealing with that wall turret is going to be a problem. A problem I can't even destroy. Okay, that did something. I must have created a doorway. There it is. Nufi! Messia! These messages are for you. You both were part of a team of scientists who created this tower. As the most critical link... You were preserved to witness our future race, to judge if there's hope for humanity. When the op when the tower began operating, your life systems were engaged and you both were awakened. Huh, interesting story. Guess I'm safe over here, so I can probably just recharge my magic. 
So you know what? I think now would be a good time to end the episode here. And in the next part, we're going to continue fighting our way through the tower. Looks like I'll have to, like, keep doing this periodically as well. But luckily I can still recover. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.